Town's driving me to drink. Can't find anything better than 3-2 beer. I've already drank up a whole 12-er. Had to go buy another 6-er. Can't catch a buzz for nothing. God. Hope you enjoyed the uh, drive videos. Thunderstorm in Iowa. Bit of uh, Utah, no big deal. As you can see, just out here. Nice night. Getting eaten up by mosquitoes already, though. Mosquitoes have been out like crazy around here. Dropped the trailer uh, last night at the FedEx yard here in Salt Lake. I got out. I literally got swarmed by big fat mosquitoes all over my face and everything. I got a bite on my ear, bites all over my arms. We end up with Zika. Gonna have a head like a little potato. That would actually be uh, quite hilarious. Video start turning out. You know, I'm driving with Zika head. Got a little tiny head. That'd be hot. Look like Beetlejuice and shit. Anyway, I yeah, got my uh, Heineken. Selena wanted some uh, something else. She likes having like sweet drinks, you know, like the ciders and all that kind of stuff. Freaking places here, they don't sell jack though. Like I said, it's all 3-2 beer. You can buy Heineken, Stella, whatever, Coors, but it's all 3-2. Like, it takes me like 27 beers to catch a buzz, man. So, it's, psh, stupid. So, Nothing. <clears throat> so... Put a cap on this video today. It's the Settlement Sunday video on Monday. Right. We're over here doing laundry and then we're thinking about doing a live feed as soon as we finish this. So let's go ahead and uh, recap last week. I got my chicken scratch. <laughs> so. We got a bajillion loads that we didn't do. Yeah, we did three loads that were canceled on us, you know. The, we missed two loads over Memorial Day holiday. We went home for that, you know, and, and we're home for a few days. But we also had a load right before that canceled from Salt Lake to Des Moines. It got canceled again for lack of freight. So we missed out in one pay period. We missed out on a total of three loads. So when you talk about having a crappy week, yeah. um, <laughs> Total revenue to the truck last week, $4,350.90. So, <laughs> so $4,350.90 minus $1902.01 in fuel, $40.75 in death, and then Hundred and sixty nine dollars or two eighty nine fifty one in deductions. Nineteen oh two oh. But then we got two hundred forty six dollars and ninety four cents in fuel discounts, leaving us a net profit for the week of two thousand three hundred sixty five dollars and fifty seven cents, minus <coughs> seven hundred and thirty bucks to the truck payment and maintenance, leaving us in the bank. $1,635.57. <laughs> then you take the $1,500 off the top we give to house bills. We made $135.57 in net profit. Right. Because we missed three loans. So $135. Hey, at least it was still in the well, Everything got paid for. Yeah. We still paid our house bills. It's just we didn't see any real you know, excess profit no on top profit of it. to the business yeah, yeah no profit to the savings this week so yeah. what it sucks do? but it could be worse it could have been negative yeah you can go negative too so overall we're still we're, we're surviving we're okay yeah we just didn't put any money in the bank this week so. this now this week coming though it's <coughs> gonna be a full week so yeah we'll be right back on track and but then we're looking at what over the 4th of July we may be missing some trips what next week we're going to our cabs course in Rockford Illinois miss two trips. we're gonna miss two trips for that so again it's gonna be another week of being short money it's just we're hitting this string of holidays cancel loads 
going to CABS course, you know, it's a requirement for Landstar for a, it's a business training course we have to go to. Um, so things are just working out. We're just getting a bunch of hits, you know. That as soon as we get done with CABS, we pretty much and then see what happens over the 4th of July. We're going to take one week off in July to just go home and take care of some stuff down there because as it looks right now, we're not moving to Salt Lake also. Yeah. Everybody was wondering, why are you moving? Why are you moving? Well, we were going to move up here for business. And then we started really looking at it and the cost of moving and the trouble involved in it and putting new deposits down, missed out revenue on moving and all this kind of stuff to come up here and just have a place that was ultimately more expensive. Yeah. And wasn't going to serve as much purpose as we really wanted to for only a temporary move. So it's like, after we thought about it and crunched the numbers and after we found a place, you know, started looking at it, we're like, We'll just for the next foreseeable months, we'll just stay in Vegas and keep that place because if we add a truck onto this run in Salt Lake, we're not going to be in Salt Lake. Yeah, we'll go home more. So, so might as well just leave everything there. Might as well just leave it there. It's cheaper. We don't miss out on all the time and cost of moving to Salt Lake because we one we would lose if we took two weeks off to move. We'd have to go down there, pack up the whole place, clean it up, ship everything up here, unload it all you know, get totally moved in and all this kind of stuff and worked around, then be there to have utilities turned on and this, that. you're looking at like two weeks of downtime to get this done, we would miss out on over $20,000 revenue, yeah. plus getting a place that was more expensive and smaller than our place in Vegas. And then really to look at the timeline, how long were we really gonna stay in Salt Lake if we came up here? Yeah, well not only would we have be negative on the revenue that we lost, but then two weeks worth of house bills so that's another three grand and you know another yeah. two weeks of truck payments so that's another 1400 bucks yeah we'd probably be looking at over twenty five thousand dollars in loss just to move up here and, and that's like, not even including the month rent that we'd have to pay on both places because yeah. we'd have to pay the one month before we could get out and then one month to get in plus the cost of actual moving so overall we'd probably be out twenty five to thirty thousand dollars before we actually got moved up here yeah. and it's like what? For what? Come up here and maybe be here for a little while and then have to move again? Yeah. It's like, after we saw the prices up here, it's actually more expensive than Vegas. We're just like, you know, we don't have to do it. So, yeah. we're not going to be moving to Salt Lake. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I know everybody's heartbroken. Right. So we're we so up, looking forward to getting out of Vegas, too. Oh, I know, we were, but it'll wait. Yeah. yeah. It'll, it'll be there when we're ready to go. We could either spend all that money to move up to Salt Lake, or we could use all that money and add a truck. Yeah, and then pile our money up quicker, add a truck sooner, and hopefully give some good drivers a job. Yeah. So. Help some other people pay their bills. Yeah. Truth. Truthism. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess that's about it. We're here in Salt Lake right now, though, doing laundry. We can head out tonight or Tuesday morning at about 2 a.m. We got two turns to do this week. Sure. Then as soon as we get back, we're going to see if we can get our load early for next week so we can jam out to Iowa, be there first thing Monday to drop it, drive Monday over to Rockford. It's about 320 miles away. Drive over to Rockford, there. Rockford be there Tuesday morning for cabs. for cabs course. Do that all day. Do that all day. Be there Tuesday night. We can drive back over to Des Moines on Wednesday and be there Thursday morning for the next couple of legs of the trip. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we already got somebody to cover a whole Des Moines to Salt Lake and back to Des Moines so we can be back to meet and shoot back to Salt Lake. We got somebody to cover our loads already. So, good times. Yeah. That's about it. Yep, that's about it. Got some uh, exciting videos to come. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm just gonna leave it more vague. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. <laughs> what I just <laughs> because I was trying Big to secret. I was trying to lead on so that people would be like, What is it? What is it? What is the video gonna be about? I don't know. Check us out. Oh on my the god. Next one. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
All right, so Salt Lake? Yep. Keep it between the ditches.